What's going on, guys? Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show. We do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with GeeksUnderGrace.com, and today we get to talk about Josh Duggar. Yay. In fact, I'm not super excited about this show at all, actually, because I'm pretty sure anything I'm going to say today is going to make at least somebody mad. But let's start off with Josh Duggar from the Duggar family of 19 kids and counting on TLC. Josh is the oldest out of this family, and apparently it hasn't been kept a secret that when he was a teenager, he did some terrible, awful things. Like molest his sisters kind of terrible things. And so that was more than a decade ago. But since then, Josh Duggar has been doing everything humanly possible to try to right his wrong, even though I think all of us can agree nothing he could do could make what he did okay. And so as you can imagine, like you, everyone else is infuriated and disgusted. And I don't blame anybody because I feel the same way, especially since this is supposed to be the perfect Christian family. So it does not only become a disgusting act, but also a reinforcement to the Christian stereotype. But as I said, since then, he has done everything that he can to make it right. He's apologized to the victims. He went to counseling to fix himself. He even told his wife and her parents who he really was so that they knew that before she made such a commitment. And so I've seen a lot of people say, look at that, that deserves forgiveness. He is a changed man. Pedophilia doesn't deserve forgiveness ever, no matter what. He did a disgusting thing multiple times and there is nothing that Josh Duggar can do to fix that. So I don't say forgive him because he changed his ways, but we're Christians. When it comes down to it, none of us deserves forgiveness. But Jesus forgave us gotta follow suit. From that, I need to talk about the United Methodist Church. This is because the denomination's leadership is sending in a proposal to the 2016 General Conference about homosexuality. See, the United Methodist Church has a book of discipline. It's a book basically telling you what you can and cannot do as a pastor. And in a very big move, they are trying to make homosexuality not prohibitive in that book. Getting rid of it as a chargeable offense actually makes it so that pastors can perform gay ceremonies. And I think regardless of what you believe on the matter, it should definitely be known and realized that times are changing. I think it's very safe to assume that you're going to be seeing this from different denominations down the road. Though it should be said, this is only the proposal, so who knows whether or not this will actually go through at the conference. And from that update on ISIS, we haven't done that in quite a while. But President Barack Obama has said something that I think a lot of people are finding kind of surprising, and that is that we are not losing against ISIS, apparently. Though he did admit there have been mistakes and setbacks, he says we are still on the right track to defeating them. Though he says that this war is probably going to take many years something that we have been very familiar with recently. Personally, I'm definitely skeptical because it looks like we're not doing that well, but I have high hopes. I definitely hope that we can beat ISIS soon. Until then, prayers out of the people that are being affected by ISIS because it's pretty awful there. But that is where we're going to end today's show. So question of the day is going to be, what are your thoughts on the whole Josh Duggar thing? I'm always curious of what you guys have to say. So please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. Make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com for more geeky content. My name's Cody Armour, bringing you Christian news in a not-so-boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like, subscribe. I will see you later, and God bless.